Building and renovating homes isn't easy, but it's certainly addictive. We're Luke and Nikki Hobbs of Hobbs Building and Interiors, an eco-friendly design and construct firm delivering high quality client projects of modern country style. Over the past decade and 32 properties later, we've developed an algorithm to delight our clients with beautiful, livable homes. Long hours, often dirty work, and juggling hundreds of stakeholders is all part of our routine, and we wouldn't have it any other way. So we're on our way to Project Regal, um, which is one of our most exciting um, new builds. Uh, Project Regal is for some beautiful clients quoted on Lexus. The design of this one is really cool. So we've got a um, nice squillion roof, lots of angles, lots of glass, um, nice big 40 square meter deck, um, just looking, taking in the breathtaking views, looking out all over Canungra, over Mount Tambourine. Um, it's gonna be a really special, special build, this one. We're really excited about the design of this project. Um, we actually spent a lot of time personally um, workshopping this one with our clients and also a good friend of ours, Draftsman Jean from Pride Home Designs. Interestingly, Glenn and Alexis contacted us through Instagram. Um, mm. they, they, they dropped us a comment and I believe I stalked Glenn. I saw he loved AFL and they were from Melbourne um, and introduced him to my sister who's playing professional AFL at the time. Um, she was playing for Collingwood now for Hawthorne this year. Uh, and we just, we hit it off instantly, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. So our, our client meeting, which normally takes place in our Canungra showroom, we'd organized a sushi platter and some beers and wine and we actually hosted them down at our creek. And that was our first encounter with them. So it was, it was a fun afternoon. <laughs> the, re the rest is history. <laughs> it's a passive house design and based around quite a lot of eco-friendly principles. Uh, we have a very tall subfloor for lots of air and crossway ventilation underneath underneath the subfloor. A lot of glazing throughout um, to assist, yeah, with I guess air movement upstairs as we're actually not installing air conditioning at this point. And I guess a few key features which I absolutely adore about about this home uh, is is the cornerless butt window joint at the front facade, um, which inside will be the fireplace, and so you'll be able to see that both inside and outside. I think that that aspect will be really really nice. Secondly, I love the ensuite. I'm pinning that as one of our favorite bathroom yeah. constructions thus far. We have double vanity, double shower, and a gorgeous freestanding stone bathtub imported from Bali, Indonesia, looking out over the bushland. We've got a, a funky little bar section on our back deck. It's sort of um, stepped in, it's gonna be full cabinetry um, and, a, and a sink there as well. Um, so that's gonna be a real sort of funky spot there for, um, for beers on the back deck, beer and wine on the back deck of an afternoon. Um, hopefully we'll get some invites to that once it's all done. I'm sure we will. It's yeah. going to be the Canungra party house. Yeah, yeah. Now can I ask, do you know what color we're painting this house? Monument. No. <laughs> it's black. It's black now. Oh, black. Night black. sky. Yes. Midnight sky. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's black roof, black gutters, black suffetes, black weather text cladding. And then we're going to have a timber, a solid timber pivot front door, which will be really clean and beautiful and natural. And then Alexis would love you to do some natural weather groove timber strips around some of the windows as some, as some features. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we actually changed um, a, a fair bit of the, the cladding section on one um, side of the house just for cost savings. Um, so instead of doing a weatherboard right through, um, we've got sort of uh, fibre cement sheeting with timber patterns just to give a bit of time contrast and, and some um, cost saving as well. Yeah, I guess it was it was really crucial from the onset of this project. Our clients had a strict um, budget, and that we had to ensure that this this house design, which sits just under two hundred meters squared, so it's quite a modest floor space, mm. and we had to be really clever with the materials in our selections. We love that really sort of it's very minimalist and 
modern eco um, aesthetic and we needed to be careful uh, of where we spend our hard-earned money I guess. Regal Estate is a brand new development here in Canungra and Glenn and Alexis, our clients, are incredibly lucky. They're literally a stone's throw from the main street of Canungra, where we're very lucky with a lot of beautiful, a beautiful stores and coffee shops, um, such as My Country Escape, where you can purchase fresh, fresh flowers, homewares, guaranteed a gift for, for everybody and anybody. We're incredibly lucky with this project, uh, just being so close to home. It's only a 10 minute drive past the vineyards into Canungra. Yeah, as we mentioned, we're really proud of this design. We think it's incredibly unique and it does really lend itself well to the Canungra and Scenic Rim lifestyle. So with Glenn and Alexis' permission, which they have agreed, uh, we're hoping that we might actually be able to package this house plan up and sell this to other future Hobbs building clients, I guess, like as a spec home plan.